Hey, welcome back guys. So today on this video, we're talking about Cash App and more specifically, I'm going to quickly answer a question I keep getting a lot on my other video and that is how do you set up Face ID for your Cash App? So let's go ahead and talk about this. First off guys, a real quick video, not too many steps involved, so be sure to stick around to the end of the video. But why would you wanna set up Face ID for your Cash App? Well, that's pretty easy. Maybe you run a business and your personal assistant has access to your Cash App, but you don't want them to be able to send out money without your notification. Whatever the case is, it's a pretty easy process. It's gonna be handled in your cash app and also your settings app on your iPhone. Check my video description. I'll try to leave the written instructions there as well, but let me go ahead and jump on over to my settings for my iPhone first. Okay, guys, here's the settings app for my iPhone. It's this gray gear wheel icon looking thing. Let me go ahead and open it up. Okay. So once you open it up, you're going to see this drop down menu and you just want to scroll down until you get to cash app. Okay. So I scrolled down. Here is my cash app right here, this green and white settings for cash app. Okay. Once you click there, you're going to see various options for your cash app in your iPhone and you you want to look for this line right here called cash app face id it's written in green with like a little smiley face looking thing you can see mine is black and white you need to scroll that over until it's green so what that does is it gives cash app access to using the face id function on your iphone and that's pretty much it for the settings portion the rest of this process will be handled in cash app so let me jump on over to my cash app okay guys so here is my cash app the green and white app right here on the top left let me go ahead and open it up okay so i opened my cash app this is the home screen now in order to continue setting up your face ID for Cash App, you need to click on the profile icon here on the top right. Once you click there, you will see a drop down menu. And in order to continue setting up the face ID for your Cash App, scroll down until you see this line right here called security and privacy. It has a little check mark next to it. Okay, so once you click there, right at the top, you're going to see this line here called security lock. So basically, what this is, is before you can send out money from your Cash App, your face ID will need to be verified. So that's going to help prevent fraud. So if you let someone use your phone and they open up their Cash App and try to send all the funds out to them, it's going to require your face ID for that to happen. So what you want to do is go ahead and make sure this button is green. You can see mine is black and white and we'll just click it over. And once you do that, you're going to see this pop up. So you need to enter in your pin number for your cash app. This is the same pin number that you use for your cash app card and also the pin number that you use to access your cash app. So I'm going to go ahead and enter mine in off screen. Okay. A quick second later, the page refreshes and now you can see the button is green next to security lock. So anytime I want to send money to someone, I will need to verify my face ID. And let me show you an example of that. Let me jump back to the home screen. Okay. So here we are back on the home screen and let me go ahead and just choose $1 that I'm going to send to someone and I'm going to click on pay. Okay. Next I'm going to go ahead and choose one of my contacts. Okay. Next I'm going to click on pay here on the top, right? Okay. As I'm trying to send it out, you can see that it is requesting my face ID in order for this payment to go through. If my face ID is not confirmed, then this payment will not go out through cash app. So there you have it guys. If you're wondering how to set up your face ID for cash app, that's the easiest way I know how to do it. If you know an easier way, be sure to leave a comment below. Let the rest of us know how you did it. Hopefully you found that video useful. If so, click thumbs up or maybe consider subscribing to my channel and I hope to see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching.